Discover makes new antibiotics and it does this by using its technology and the technology allows us to see inside the bacteria and see what's happening at any stage in the process so we can pick the best compounds for clinical development and the market. So back in 2012, we applied and were successful in getting an Innovate UK grant. What it meant at that time was we could go back to our initial investors and say we wanted some more money. It was scientific validation that our technology and our platform was worthy of investment. So what did that then enable us to do was to do more science. Now, doing more science is really important for a small company. Most science doesn't work. 95% of science just doesn't work because we just don't know everything about what we do because we're using innovative technologies and we're exploring regions where no one's been before. So you need to do a lot more science than you actually need. So getting this more funding enabled us to have a, an element of redundancy which meant we could actually pick the gems, the things that were actually useful to go forward. Back in um, 2013 we established a relationship with uh, Roche, a major farmer based in Switzerland. We were only really able to establish that relationship because we'd had um, the investment from both um, our investors and Innovate UK that meant we could get to a certain stage where we could actually talk to, to Roche. Um, it was a very good relationship which led to uh, us signing a major deal, in fact the biggest antibiotic drug discovery deal that's ever been signed. Together we develop um, drugs to certain bacteria that we take um, through clinical development to the market. Innovate UK's Biomedical Catalyst Fund fulfills a, a gap in the, in the market in the UK. Currently, investor capital will allow you to do uh, certain tasks within companies, but it won't give you that innovation capital you need to truly exploit the full potential in a company.